Now before we jump in this video, I just wanted to give this disclaimer out here. John is going to handle a very defensive pied retics that's been staying here. For those of you that haven't been watching the channel, or if this is your first time to the channel, this snake came to us as an adult, very defensive and very, very afraid of humans. So it's not like we're trying to make this snake agitated. We do need to move her to clean her. And it's, it's a challenge because she's so afraid of people that she's, she lashes out and she's got big teeth and she's defensive and it could be a dangerous situation for more for the person handling her than her herself really. But um, anyway, I just wanted to put that disclaimer at the beginning of the video and John may or may not have gotten bit on the ass by this snake while handling her. You're just gonna have to watch and find out. Top of the morning, friends and family. How are you wonderful, beautiful people doing today? It's been a while since we dropped down from the fan, hasn't it? Ooh, my camera's getting crazy. Ooh, 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 it's probably, it's all John's fault. John's fault, he's making it, because he showed up here wearing that ugly shirt. I gotta I do what, something about it. I, you better do something about it, dude, if you wanna stay in this room. I mean, that guy's been like, click baiting like a madman. We, we can't be representing that type of stuff around here, man. Ah, there we go. Yeah, represent the nip. That's what we represent nips around here hard. I just don't know who to clean with it. That's the issue. I think it needs to go to Grumpy so that it gets treated the proper way. I hold no responsibility. I'm gonna let you open up the last lock that I opened up three of the locks. I, I realized that my cases are dirty. That's why we're down here. We're gonna, we're gonna clean. And John is just gonna, I'm just gonna let him do whatever he wants right now. I'm just gonna stand here and watch. You just take care of yourself there, buddy. What do you think of Miguel? Hmm? I think I found someone that finally likes him. <laughs> you gotta get your butt up here someday and come hold this snake. I think she'll like you. A lot. We've got a brand new fresh shed right here on Betsy Ross. For those of you that keep any snakes of any sort, you know that fresh poop comes along with fresh shed. It's just, it's just once they get moving, they get that stuff all worked out, it, it works itself out. Hey, John? Absolutely. And she even painted the windows for us. Like, she was so nice. Room was a little too bland. Yeah, she's good. She. Yeah. That's what you gotta love about having a snake enthusiast in the room. They go for the biggest snake first. Can't wait till later. I haven't seen those shots yet or edited them at all because I'm still recording this video, but I think I'm pretty happy with how those shots just came out on that on that edit. I know I'm in love. I think she's a little in love too. She's being a little tender. Yeah, no, she's a she's a good snake, man. She's a real good snake. Aren't you, Betsy? She's a good girl. She goes to hang out with the kids all the time. Oh yeah. <laughs> Getting so caught up with the awesomeness of the snake, I'm forgetting the fact that we actually need to Clean up this cage. Poop. 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 Now seriously, for having shed and poop in there, like, that was really quick. She usually, usually when these guys mess up their cage, it's a real chore. That was easy. You guys see that? How her color changes when she goes from outside to inside because of the, the way these lights are in there. You get that real orange look over here, but still yellow when it's out here. I, that's just something that, I don't know if you guys have ever noticed, but I always notice it, so I just figured I'd point it out to you because I do like to do that over. <laughs> Most retics you guys may have noticed are stage five clingers. She's not gonna tuck her tail in there for like another two hours 
if I don't help her out. She's just gonna leave it out there like, I didn't necessarily, I wanted to go in, but I didn't necessarily want to go in. So I'm gonna hang my tail out there just in case, cause I, I might want to come back. How long, how long do you think she'll leave her tail hanging out there? Good hour, hour and a half. Hour and a half? I feel like we should time lapse it. What's next, John? Another retake. <laughs> She's fine once it turns off, but she's just a little bit. She can be a little ampy. Never struck me or anything. It was Garrett's snake. And that's how it's done, folks. <laughs> Maybe not quite so yogic. <sighs> that was actually, that was a bit of work. I'm sweating a little bit. So John's doing all the hard work cleaning now. I'm just playing love games on the floor with this beautiful big python. She doesn't have a name yet. She's one of Garrett's snakes. Garrett, do you have a name for this girl? Unlike Betsy, this girl definitely affected her water dish. It's your first day on the job, John. It sucks. <laughs> I thought I was just gonna hold big snakes. <laughs> I still can't wait for my retakes to get this big though. <laughs> We're gonna be doing this every day. Yes, sir. So I'm just gonna sit here on my phone and uh, reply to Jane Price comments on Facebook while, while John gets work done. I guess, I guess since John's working so hard over there, we should throw out that he does have his own YouTube channel called Feely's Clutch. I'm gonna put the link for the description. I'm going to put the link for that channel in the description right down there. You will find it. Go check out his channel. He's got a similar thing going on. Snakes, kids, family, and uh, his own particular brand of way of looking at things on life, which is different than my own. And that's, uh, it's unacceptable. Well, John, it's looking, it's looking pretty good, man. I'd, I'd say that, uh, I'd say that you did a good job in there. So you're saying it does meet the Brian seal of approval. Ding. Now the real question is, do you want to take the pie out? I don't think anyone else has actually taken her out and handled her on your channel though, have they? Nobody. People have threatened to, but nobody's actually pulled the trigger. I think I have to be a first. All right, let me just make sure you uh, have you sign this waiver right here. All right, that means if he gets hurt, I don't want to hear any whining about it. You don't, you don't actually have to do this. You're not feeling it. I don't, I don't want you to do it just because you're on the camera and like, you know, it hurts when she bites. I believe. And she probably will. Maybe you not. Just made her move to there, right? <laughs> yeah, that's all, John. I just need to move from there to there. It's real easy. I just realized I totally lied. R Riley Jemison has come here and, and handled this snake on camera when she first got here. Just so you know, somebody has done. She's in a bad position for me because I'm left-handed. <laughs> Smart girl. What would you do? What, what would I do right now? Yeah, just... As far as taking her out? I'd take the hook, I'd pull out her back end, get her till she was running, and then put hands on her to bring her out. 
and be very wary of her not turning around on me. Just don't let her get loose in the room, that's all I ask. Don't let her get loose. Yep, just get her head up in that tub and she'll go inside. Close it up. Before she comes back up. I thought he was gonna give up, to be honest, dude. <laughs> Good job, John. You made it. You didn't get bit. You got her in the tub. Huh? She definitely took a couple swings. She took a couple swings at you. There's no doubt about that. We got him on camera. There's no denying it. But you did a good job. You did a good job. I mean, for, for a guy that's not, you, you have no real experience having like big snakes, right? Dude, you did great, man. Give him a hand. Well, the battle is over half over. Cage is clean. Now we just gotta put the snake back into the cage. And I, th I think he's gonna do it, no problem. Just the, the one thing you wanna make sure you really don't do is let get her run open. into the racks, dude, because we'll be here for a while getting her out. Once you get her back end out, then she just starts running, usually. The best technique is to get your hands on her back end and then she, get her to where she's trying to run away from you and then she won't be trying to bite you in defense. Hey, Golden. Ladies and gentlemen, give, give him a hand, please. He, <laughs> it's not an easy task getting that girl to and from cages, especially without getting bit. And uh, he's got very little experience. I'd say he really, he really did a fantastic job. Now you would think that gate is easy to operate, but I, I can't figure out. I think I'm just gonna have to hop this fence. 